Which I'll be in the low 50s by next week. So we are, in quotes, cooling down to the 60s. That's your forecast. All right. And Sunday also marks the end of daylight saving time. So don't forget to turn your clocks back one hour before you go to bed on Saturday night. It means an extra hour of sleep, theoretically. But what does that do to your body clock? And what is the uh, latest on plans to permanently end daylight saving time? Here's Lauren Petty. Daylight saving time ends this weekend, and some say good riddance. I think it just throws your body clock out, takes ages to recover. Dr. Saber Abbott, a neurologist with Northwestern Medicine's Sleep Disorders Center, agrees. We do know that things like car crashes go up, heart attacks go up all around that time of the springtime shift. What is it, spring forward? I don't care for that at all. The good news is that falling back this weekend is actually easier on our bodies than the springtime change. This time of year, generally people tend to tolerate better. It gives you an extra hour of sleep. Most people find that for the few days after the time change, they may get sleepier earlier in the evening or wake up earlier in the morning. But there are some ways to address that. Turns out some extra light at night, even in front of a screen, can help shift our body clocks. I know that goes against all that sleep hygiene stuff you normally hear, but this is the one time where a little bit of extra screen time or a little bit of extra bright light from one of those daylight lamps can actually help. You may have heard of the proposal before Congress to stop the twice a year time change. Passed by the Senate, installed in the House, the Sunshine Protection Act would make daylight saving time permanent in the U.S. But Dr. Abbott says that would push our bodies away from its natural rhythm of waking up with the sun. That means that everybody is going to have a harder time waking up in the morning. They're going to have a harder time falling asleep on time at night. In turn, we think that that also could be associated with greater rates of depression. So if it were up to Dr. Abbott. I think myself and pretty much every other sleep expert who's out there would prefer that we went to permanent standard time. So what we'd prefer is we shift our clocks back this weekend and then we stop. Lauren Petty, NBC5 News.